Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Powers of Monomials. You will be able to use laws of exponents to find powers of monomials. You can use the rule for finding the product of powers to discover another law of exponents for finding the power to a power. So for example, we have 6 to the 4th raised to the 5th power. Let's give myself a marker here. Okay, so what it really is, is 6 to the 4th, 5 times. While using our rule we learned in the previous lesson, we keep the base and add the exponents, so we get an answer of 6 to the 20th. There is a shortcut method to get there. What we can do is actually multiply the exponents. There's one base and two exponents. Letter A. Simplify using the laws of exponents. 8, we keep the base. Multiply the exponents. We get 8 to the 12th. We keep the base. Multiply the exponents and we get k to the 35th. Keep the base, multiply the exponents. Letter D. Keep the base, multiply the exponents. Now, here we have three exponents, but the same rule applies. We keep the base and multiply the exponents. 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. Letter F, keep the base. 3 times 2 is 6, times 3 is 18. Extend the power of a power rule to find the laws of exponents for the power of a product. So to find the power of a product, find the power of each factor and multiply. So in other words, we have 3a squared raised to the fifth power, which means we would write it five times. Well, there are five threes. There are five a squareds. We can rewrite the threes as three to the fifth, and we can rewrite the a's as a squared to the fifth. Now here we're going to continue with our simplifying and not leaving an exponential form. 3 to the 5th is 243, and please use a calculator. a squared to the 5th, to keep the base and multiply the exponents. So our answer would be 243a to the 10th. Let's try some together. So really the shortcut way is to take this exponent and it's like distributing it to the other exponents. 4 is simply 4 to the first power. For the exponent 4 times the exponent 1 is 4. p to the third power raised to the fourth power, we would take 4 times 3, it would be p to the twelfth. And of course, let's simplify 4 to the 4th power, which is 256. So this would be 256 p to the 12th. Now it is completely simplified. With letter B, we need to make sure we put negative 2 in parentheses, because negative 2 is being raised to the 5th power. When we distribute, there's our 5th power m, distribute, multiply those exponents, n, distribute by multiplying the exponents. When you put negative 2 to the 5th in the calculator, make sure it is in parentheses. So negative 2 to the 5th power is negative 32, and our variables we just carry down. Letter C, distribute your exponent, 
8 squared b to the 18th by multiplying. 8 squared is 64. Bring down the b to the 18th. Letter D. Distribute the exponent of 4. 6 to the 4th, x to the 20th, 4 times 5, and y to the 44th, 4 times 11. 6 to the 4th power is 1,296. Bring down the exponents. Letter E. Again, we have a negative coefficient. Put that in parentheses. Distribute the exponent of 3. Negative 5 to the third power. W to the sixth. Multiply exponents. Z to the 24th. Multiply exponents. Negative 5 to the third power is negative 125. W to the 6th, Z to the 24th. Letter F. A magazine offers a special service to its, its subscribers. If they scan the square logo, sh logo shown on a smartphone, they can receive special offers from the magazine. Find the area of the logo. Now this is difficult to read, but it is 7A to the 4th B. Area of a square is your side length squared. So the area would be 7a to the fourth b squared. Distribute that to 7 squared a to the eighth b squared. 7 squared we know is 49. So 49 a to the 8th, B squared, square units.